Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our crankshaft position sensor. Firstly, you have to locate it. It's going to be located on the passenger side rear of the engine. Now you could easily reach this right up through here. I'm just going to come through the wheel well so that way there you have a nice clear view. On the outer aspect, right where my thumb is, there's a little tab. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze on that tab for the electrical connector, remove it, and then of course you're going to inspect it. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it needs to be dealt with. This looks great, so I'll set it aside. The next thing we're going to do is start dismounting this from the engine. You're going to find one mounting bolt right here. Let's go ahead and pull that out of there. And of course, make sure we have a nice collection bucket underneath the engine just in case some oil comes out. There's our bolt. Go ahead and inspect it. Make sure it's in good condition. Set it aside. Now we can carefully grab onto this. We'll just give it a little twist and remove it from the engine. There it is, friends. Before we can install our brand new sensor, let's go ahead and take a nice rag and we're just going to try to clean out from around the hole and of course inside the hole. We want to ensure that none of this debris makes its way into the engine. Okay friends, now it's time to install our brand new crankshaft position sensor. Something I want to mention is I like to put a tiny bit of clean motor oil along the o-ring here. That's going to help it slide right into the engine. Just go ahead and line it up. I'm going to set it to approximately the angle it needs to be at and then I'll press it into the engine. All right, I've got that slid in there. Let's go ahead and grab our bolt. We're just gonna go ahead and bottom out this bolt. We'll snug it up and then torque it to 89 inch pounds. Go ahead and connect in your electrical connector. Listen for a click, give it a tug. 